Welcome back to Streamers Reloaded, my name is Tom and let's get right into it. Okay, so first up I'm going to be splitting up the Ice Poison stories throughout the video because there's just so many of them. So first up this week we got the story between Ice, Soda and Forsen. So of course Ice does this particular type of stream where he sleeps and then people donate and these so there's certain tiers of rewards for what you donate versus what you get. And in this particular scenario for a thousand dollars Ice Poison would be waterboarded, which for those who don't know what that is, it's when they put a rag over your head and drop water on you to make it feel like you're drowning and of course it's used as a like torture device. So Soda Poppin and Rec will both put $500 in to this $1,000 donation expecting for Ice to be tortured out of his mind. But of course what actually really happened is not much. He just sort of got some water dropped on him and so I've got a few reactions. First I've got what happened to Ice, I've then got Soda Poppin's reaction, I've then got Forsen's reaction. Oh my god, you're stupid. Yes, I got fucking bamboozled. Me and Mitch. Mitch put in a hundred or fifty five hundred dollars as well. Donated to Ice Poseidon yesterday for him to get waterboarded. And they ended up splashing a cup of water on his face. Called it a day. One thousand dollars. I I don't really have any respect for Ice Poseidon, honestly. Like I saw the fucking like I saw the uh water boarding clip I find it ridiculous to promote it to, to a 12 year old audience like it's literally torture techniques that you're promoting to 12 year old next up we got from the same stream that Forsen said all that ice stuff uh, between Nani and Forsen they accidentally may have leaked that Nani was pregnant now watch Nani in this clip Forsen treats this conversation like a joke, and Nani is super serious. So watch this. Call our kid specimen because he is actually a specimen. Kid. Yeah, weren't you pregnant? Oh, we had an abortion, right? I falcon punched her in the stomach, and just to make sure, I kicked her down the stairs afterwards. It's like a wombo combo, if I've ever seen one. Next up we got Kay Bubbles, who's a girl streamer, and she got her Twitter banned this week, and you know, it's just sort of one of those scenarios where like, life's so hard. Check out the clip. I literally don't even know what to do with my life right now. Yeah, but do you know how freaking annoying that is? Like, my app, my everything, like, everything is just fucking banned. And then later on in the same stream, she gets roasted by her dad. Dad, I literally just sat for four hours with grandpa driving him to the doctor. Just sat down, I come home, find out my Twitter's permabanned. Sit, like I'm just not having a good day at all. So, so Twitch is next, right? Close my door, literally close my door. Yeah, close my door. Twitch is next. What did I do? I did nothing. You see me you in my room. I push the envelope every day. If I log on, I don't even log on to you to stream because I can be embarrassed at any moment by what you say, how you act. You don't think of anybody else. I'm just think of you and look at you. Oh, I'm just all up in your shit. I'm just ruining it for you. It's not my fault you can't come up with any content so you just fucking bury yourself. Next up we got Ice who did his 100k stream and for those who don't know for 100k Ice decided that he would do a Chatterbait stream which Chatterbait is a online live porn website and so he got a model on for this to help him with this which is really strange because Ice has a girlfriend and a bunch of other just strange things and I've got a few streamers that have reacted to it so I'll have the original link to the full VOD in the description as well as uh, the reactions. Um, I did watch Ice's Chatterbait stream yesterday. I was watching it with uh, a couple friends. As a part owner of NRG, I must say, 
thoroughly disappointed he didn't fuck her in the ass. The girl was like, she's, she's a really, really um, she's sexy like, body and everything, you know, uh, doing a chatterbait stream, and he almost, he could have, she really wanted to fuck him, and it was like painfully obvious, and he had a girlfriend, so it was almost like cheating, but it kind of wasn't, so it made you feel awkward did there. Did they fuck? I really wanted him to, man. It did, felt did, like a really, fuck? it was a really long porn intro, and then there was no finale. That's basically what it was. That's a buzzkill right there. Yeah. It was a buzzkill. It was. But yeah. So, what are you guys up to? Next up, we got Nani who got a 24 hour ban. Not too sure the reason why, but because Nani got banned, she actually got IP banned, which means Forsen got banned as well for 24 hours. And next up, we got The Race, which is a Twitch channel that's based around every time a new Call of Duty comes out, a few big Twitch streamers and a few YouTubers come together and they basically race to the maximum level on that game. And one of the big parts of this stream is a person called T Martin, which we know as the CSGO person who scammed the community. And well, in this stream, it's found out that if you use the term, and we found this new site, you cannot put this term in the chat because T Martin's there. And a part of this, a person has donated saying this term and just watch the reaction. A man, Havoc with the dollars is a penny for every CSGO. Uh, Sean the Sheep, thank you so much for $100. <laughs> Next up, we got the Epicenter underscore BR Twitch channel, which is one of the channels that do the CSGO majors, but in a different language. And in between games, they play random clips, generally from the game or just something else. And on this particular channel, Epicenter underscore BR, they played a clip of some people on bikes getting ran over by a car and yet this channel has received no ban, no notice, no nothing. And next up we got Ice Poison's girlfriend who goes by the name Caroline Butt. She was in last week for getting in the wrong Uber. This week she got banned. Now the reason is not 100% sure, but it's possible it was to do something with the fact that she's Ice Poseidon's girlfriend. But now she's just streaming on YouTube just like Ice is. And next up we got the Twitch streamer who goes by the name Quinn69. And this week he got banned while streaming the TwitchCon World of Warcraft panel. Even though he was given authority to stream it, he still received a 24 hour ban and this is what he had to say afterwards uh it should have only been a 24 hour suspension is it not back up is it your first dmca takedown or your own twitch channel or have there been others uh so i just replied to him saying that yeah it's my first one but twitch still strongly advised that they get it removed basically i still want to get it removed twitch twitch chat i mean the guys at twitch said you should really get it removed because it's permanent and then if you get DMCA'd again in the future, it can be really, 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 really bad. So that's why if it's, it's if it's illegitimate, then you should get it removed, right? Which, I, I mean, I, I I think, wouldn't you say it's fair to say that it's an, you know, it's not a legitimate uh, DMCA? Considering that we had, like, I mean, the miscommunication from, like, official representatives at Blizzard saying that, uh... You know, you can stream it when you couldn't. Like, surely, like they, they you, you know, that's not a legitimate DMCA. It was a bad setup. Obviously, if I thought it was against the TOS, I wouldn't have done it. Like, that's 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 the obvious thing, right? Like. And finally, in leaked news, Zoe Dud with a lewd album. Rad Puppy with a Snapchat collection story. Again, just lewd. Chibuns had a nude leap. And finally, the Twitch streamer Clara Salen had a nip slip, but it's very uh, pixelated. And I want to thank you guys for watching as normal. There's a few stories that have been removed from this episode. They will all be in the link in the description as well as everything else from this episode. As well as that, if you guys have any information on the Mira and Mitch drama, I'm still collecting info on that because it seems like this drama just keeps continuing on at the moment, which is why I didn't do it in this episode. But 